Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. When we use so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of all forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From is scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. And to you I say Shalom, beginning with the 144,000 prophets, and Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, willing. This lesson is edifying and informative. My name is Kwanawath. This is the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 5. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Yahweh Shai, increase our faith. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, said, if he had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye may say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it shall obey you. Now, in this lesson, we will examine why Yahweh Shai used a sycamine tree being told to be plucked up by the root as an example of faith. Why was this particular tree used? And what is a sycamine tree? This is from the Bible commentary. From Barnes notes on the Bible. See Matthew 17 verse 20. Sycamine tree. This name, as well as sycamore, is given among us to the large tree commonly called the buttonwood. But the tree here, that is the sycamore tree, mentioned in the book of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 6, is different. The Latin Vulgate and the Syriac versions translate it mulberry tree. And so the sycamore tree mentioned in the book of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 6, is translated as being a mulberry tree in the Latin Vulgate and the Syriac versions. Now, what is a mulberry tree or simply a mulberry? Mulberries or simply Morris from Google is a genus of flowering plants in the family more risier, if I pronounce that correctly, consists of diverse species of delicious trees commonly known as mulberries. Growing wild and under cultivation in many temperate world religions. Images of a mulberry tree includes as we can clearly see now what is so special about a mulberry tree and this is from wild tree that call 
Mulberry trees are a fantastic addition to any natural area due to the benefits they provide for both humans and wildlife. These trees are known for their sweet and juicy fruit and so a mulberry tree is known for its sweet and juicy fruit that are enjoyed by many animals including white tails, birds, squirrels, and even bears to name a few. Where do mulberry trees grow best? This is from rhs.org.uk. Mulberries like deep, moisture, retentive, but well-drained soil that has been enriched with well-rotted manure or garden compost. Choose a sunny, sheltered planting spot where the tree will have plenty of room to develop its wide shape. Check the plant label to see its eventual size. And so, this is a brief summary of a mulberry tree and why it's so special and where it is most suitable to uh, be grown. And so going back to the Barnes notes on the Bible, reading it again from the top, this name as well as sycamore is given among us to the large tree commonly called the buttonwood. But the tree here mentioned is different. The Latin Vulgate and the Syriac versions translated mulberry tree. It is said to have been a tree that commonly grew in Egypt. So it is said that June antiquity when our Lord Yahweh Shai was on the earth in the flesh over 2,000 years ago that this particular tree also known as a mulberry tree according to the Latin Vulgate and the Syriac versions was said to have been a tree that commonly grew in Egypt of the size and appearance of a mulberry tree. But bearing a species of figs. And so this tree bore a species of figs. This tree was common in Palestine. It is probable that our Lord was standing by one as he addressed these words to his disciples which would make sense extrapolating. Hence the reason why our Lord used the tree as, as an example. Because remember, when we read the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 6, our Lord said, ye might say unto this sycamine tree. So he had to have obviously been standing by a sycamine tree. Right? And so reading on, Dr. Thomas, The Land and the Book, Volume I, or 1, pages 22 through 24, says, Of this tree, it is generally planted by the wayside. In the open space, where several paths meet. Compare Luke chapter 19, verse 4. This sycamore is a remarkable tree. It not only bears several crops of figs during the year, but these figs grow on short stems along the trunk and large branches, and not at the end of twigs as in other fruit bearing trees. The figs are small and of a greenish yellow color. At Gaza, 
and Ashkelon, I saw them on a purple tinge and much larger than they are in this part of the country. They were carried to market in large quantities and appeared to be more valued there than with us. Still, they are, at best, very insipid. The word insipid means tasteless, flavorless. And none but the poorer classes eat them. It is easily propagated merely by planting a stout branch in the ground and watering it until it has struck its root into the soil. And this is the point, brothers and few sisters. Listen very carefully. This it does with great rapidity and to a vast depth. Now the word rapidity, R-A-P-I-D-I-T-Y, simply means quickness, swiftness, speed, velocity, which is speed, suddenness, hurriedness, haste, abruptness. And to a vast depth. And so this tree is easily propagated merely by planting a stout branch in the ground. Now the word stout means fat, fattish, plump, chunky, round, fleshy, sturdy, heavy, solid, branch into the ground and watering it until it has struck its roots into the soil. And once this tree's roots get stuck into the soil, it does so with great rapidity, with great haste, with great speed, with great velocity, and to a vast depth. Vast meaning very wide, very narrow. It was with reference to this latter fact, that is to the latter fact that this tree, once it has struck in its roots into the soil, does so with great rapidity and to a vast depth. To this latter fact that our Lord selected it to illustrate the power of faith. So if we have faith, as a grain of a mustard seed. We may say unto this sycamine tree. We may say unto a tree. That. Has its roots. Very deeply into the soil. To a vast depth. Be that plucked up by the root. <laughs> so think about that, brothers and a few sisters. This is powerful. This is truly powerful. And the Spirit inspired me to, you know, go into it because I was asking myself, why did Yahweh use this tree as an example to express faith? And then when the Spirit inspired me to go into the commentary, the Lord showed me why. And so now I understand why our Lord used, and not just me, but we, us, brothers and few sisters. Now we understand why our Lord used this tree in particular as a great example of having faith. Because with faith, we can tell this particular tree to be plucked up by the roots. Its roots, which is uh, very deep into the soil in a vast depth. It was a reference to this latter fact that our Lord selected it to illustrate the power of faith. Now look at this tree. Its ample girth, its wide spread arms, 
branching off from the parent trunk only a few feet from the ground. Then examine its enormous roots, as thick, as numerous, and as widespread into the deep soil below as the branches extend into the air above the very best type of invincible steadfastness. So this particular tree is, is known for being uh, invincibly steadfast in the soil through its roots at a vast depth. What power on earth can pluck up such a tree? <laughs> what power? The power, my brothers and few sisters, of faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai or power. What is faith? Faith, according to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Heaven's thunderbolt may strike it down. The wild tornado may tear it to fragments. But nothing short of miraculous power can fairly pluck it up by the roots. And that is why our Lord Yahweh Shah said, If ye had faith, as a grain of a mustard seed, and a mustard seed is, is a very, very, very small seed. Yet it grows into a very great tree. And that's another lesson for Lord's willing another time. You may say, you might say, excuse me, unto this sycamore tree, be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. And so with that, I say shalom to you like Abaratazah. Lord's this lesson has been edifying and informative. Shalom.